Let's take a look at an application called Google Drawings. First thing you're gonna do is go into your drive. And if you do not already in your drive have a place to save things for this class, we're gonna add one right now. So go over to the new button and choose folder. Again, if you already have a folder for this class, you don't need to create a new one. But if you don't, create one specifically for this class. <clears throat> and then open it up. And once you're in that folder, go back to the new button, come down to more, mouse over it, and choose Google Drawings. And we're gonna title this drawing, Practice. And we're gonna take a look at um, just the first few menus here and what they do. Um, and I'll show you all the things you need to know for the short project that we're gonna do in Google Drawings. First one, pretty much everything you're gonna need um, is gonna start from the insert menu because you're gonna need things because right now you've got nothing. So you go to the insert menu and you can see, let's start with uh, text box. And you get a little crosshair, you click and drag, you get a text box and you can type. And once you type, you can select that, come up here to the formatting toolbar, change any of the styles, the color, highlight, change the font, change the color, um, and so on. And you can also change the background color of your text box if you like. You can change the line color of your text box, the thickness of the line, um, what type of line it is, and so on. And that's more or less, I mean, you can resize it, you can rotate it, but that's pretty much what you can do with a text box. Okay, I skipped over image, I wanna do that now. So you go back to the insert menu and you choose image and you can see you've got options. You can upload something directly from your computer, um, which for you would basically go to your, your files, things you've downloaded. Um, you can search the web, which is gonna bring up this familiar window over here. So if I wanna search for, you guessed it, dog, um, I can find these images of dogs uh, or I can search for dog illustrations and see it should be mostly just drawings of dogs. Um, I can, you know, it, it, I can specify by color, dog illustrations. I want red dogs. Well, that didn't really work, but you can change your search results by being more specific. So I, I do want a dog illustration and I'm gonna go with this one right here. And I'm gonna insert it and can resize that. When you're resizing images, always use the corners. Never use the top or bottom or sides. Um, because when you do that, it changes the ratio, the proportions, um, and it messes up. So use the corners and you won't have that problem. And with an image, you can rotate it as well. You can resize it, of course, as you already know. And uh, back to the insert menu. Um, the other types of images, you can get things directly from your drive. I don't think you're going to have the option for, for Google Photos there. If you know the actual address of an image. If you copy the address, you can insert it by URL. You can also use your webcam here by clicking on camera. Um, you will have to allow access. So make sure you click allow and then provided you don't have yours taped over. Okay, there we go. Um, you can use your webcam and take a picture and insert it from there. So that is the uh, image option. Um, really great choice down here that you're gonna use quite a bit is word art. Um, word art is not the same as a text box, uh, a text box, and you can resize that. But what you can do with word art, it makes it big and bold and uh, colorful. Um, so you can still change the font and you can still change the color. You change the line color though, it changes the line um, around the text, or in this case, inside the text as well. And you also have this format options button over here which allows you to mess around with some different options. So I can make it transparent or less transparent. Um, the shadow, see that shadow? That looks terrible. <laughs> um, and then the reflection is kind of fun too. I'm gonna turn this off. And you can see how reflection works there as well. So, Word art is definitely a better option when working with text, especially especially if you're putting a title on something. Um, text boxes, you would mainly use 
if you were using a lot of text and word art would be for small amounts to draw attention and so on. Okay, back to the insert menu. I've skipped over some of the other things here for now. I might come back to them later. Um, line, let's check out line. And folks, at any point during this video, please pause it and try these things out with me. Okay, so line is pretty self-explanatory. Arrow, pretty self-explanatory. Connectors, we're not really gonna use. I'm gonna skip ahead to curve. So the way curve works is you click and every time you click your mouse, it gives you a little curve. So you can create some interesting shapes with that. You can color in your shapes as long as you close them up when using the curve tool. Um, you can also use this polyline tool. This is kind of fun. Every time you click, it gives you an angle. And if you hold your mouse in while you're doing it, you can control where the angle goes from there. And just like with the curve tool with polyline, if you close up your shape, it's going to give you that shape and then you can color it in. Um, now this one, I didn't completely close it, which is why there's no line going all the way around it. So I'll just show you another example here. So if I go boom, 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 and close it up, then I get a complete shape. What you can't do with the polyline is draw a line, then draw another line, and then decide later, oh, you know what? I wanted this to be a rectangle. So let me draw this here, this here, and that there. It doesn't work, okay? And by the way, to, to stop drawing, if you're not closing the shape, you simply double click. And that certainly does not look like what I wanted it to look like. So I'm gonna undo that and undo that. So if I wanna draw a rectangle, I have to actually draw the rectangle like so, or trapezoid or whatever you wanna call that. But if you're gonna draw shapes, you might as well just use the insert shape option. Okay, and then it'll draw a rectangle for you, which you can color in. The last kind of line is scribble. Um, and scribble is like drawing with your mouse or keyboard. But even if you close a shape, you cannot color it in. There's no option to do so. You can change the line color and you can make that line super thick but you cannot. Hey, that actually kind of matches the dog shape, sort of a little bit, but not really. Um, so yeah, if you want to color in a shape, you need to either insert a shape or draw the shape using curve or polyline. And then once you have these things um, chosen, you can click on them and you can go to the format menu and you can play around with the fill color, the borders and lines, or you can use what I showed you uh, up here, the different formatting options. Um, now, if I am drawing with a line, um, I can mess with, there's there's a few more options here uh, than, than what you see up on the formatting menu. So um, make sure that you check out the formatting menu if, if there's anything special you wanna do to the things that you have added. And I mentioned about shapes, so I, I inserted this rectangle. Maybe I changed my mind later. Well, if I go back to the insert menu, I'm sorry, to the format menu, um, I have, you know, the same options that I did before, but if I look at the formatting toolbar and I click on shapes here, I can actually have that same color style and all that stuff, but I can change it to, um, a different shape. Why is that not working? Let's see here. What did I do wrong? No, nothing. Okay. They must've removed that option or I'm just not seeing it, but um, they used to have an option and where you could change the shape and I'm not seeing it. So either I'm not seeing it or they removed it, which it appears that they did. No big deal. Um, if you want a different shape, you can always just draw a different shape. Okay. Um, so now that you have a bunch of stuff on your screen, you might want to start organizing it. So of course, you know, you can drag and drop, but maybe I want this uh, nice shape that I drew to be behind my dog. Like I want it to be a frame for my dog. But unfortunately the dog is behind and no matter how much I drag and drop, that's not gonna change. So that's where this arrange menu up here comes in. And you can see the very first option on the arrange menu is order. So right now I have this shape that I drew selected. And if I wanna change the order, I don't want this shape to be on top. I want it to be behind the dog. So if I click send backward, well, nothing really happens. Not that you see at least because it's moving it back one step at a time. 
So for all the different things that I created, it's moving it behind one at a time. But if I choose send to back, then it goes all the way to the back behind every single thing, including this text box, including this shape. Okay, see it's behind every single thing, including of course the dog. And then maybe I want this to be like a little border for my dog. I don't know. It's not a border collie. I'm sorry. All right, so I take that and I drag that around here. Okay, well, again, it's not exactly the same shape. Um, but again, I can uh, modify that later if I want to. Okay, so when you're using the Arrange menu, you think about what you have selected and what you want to do with it. Do you want to bring it in front of something else or do you want to send it behind something else? And if you want it to go automatically to the front, so if I wanted to bring this shape to the front again, I would go to Order, Bring to Front. Something else in the Arrange menu that you should know about is how to group things together because if I wanted this to be the central image on my canvas here, um, I would have to drag these objects one at a time and then that kind of defeats the purpose of putting them together in the first place. Or you can use an option called grouping. So the way grouping works is you click somewhere where nothing is on the canvas. So I'm going to actually go over away from the canvas in this area over here. And then you click and hold in your mouse and you drag over top of the things you want to group. You don't have to get the whole thing. It just has to be touching that thing. So in this case, I'm touching the dog. I'm touching the, the line. I'm touching the shape. And now they're all selected. And then if I go to the Arrange menu, I have the option now to group. And there is a keyboard shortcut for that, um, which I often forget. But you just click group, and now they're one thing. So I can click away from it. I can click on it again and I can drag them all together. I can even resize them all at the same time and I can move them where I want to. I don't have to do that with this text box. So I'm going to move this out of the way. And I'm going to take my dog and my shape, put this in the center just because I, you know, I'm, I'm doing a report about this dog. I have no idea. All right. And I also want to get this shape out of the way here. And I want to put this behind my word art up here. So give that like a little border, but it's on top of it, but I don't panic. I remember that I can go to the arrange menu and send to back. I'm starting to put together a nice little piece here. All right. Once you have your, and again, this is just practice just to check out these tools. Once you have everything looking the way you want it to, um, you cannot insert a Google drawing into anything else and have it viewable. Like it's, it's only what you created can only be seen in Google drawings. So when you're done, you go to the file menu and you're going to download your oops, you're going to download your drawing. Um, in this case, we're going to download it as a PNG. Sometimes I'll tell you different formats, but in this case, it's going to be a PNG. So file download as PNG and then it's going to download. Of course, I am not on a Chromebook, so it's going to be a little bit different for you. And of course, you're going to want to make sure that you're synced. Your Google Drive is synced. Um, but for me, if I click on this, it will take me to the image. I'm actually seeing it on my other screen here. So let me drag this over. Uh, it's not letting me drag over. There we go. So you can see um, all my stuff. Now, it looks like there's a black background, but basically there's no background. If I wanted there to be a background, I would have to specify um, a, a background color, but it's, it's, it's empty space. Okay, so we've covered the file menu, the insert menu, the format menu, and the arrange menu. Um, once you are done with your practice document, please have me take a look at it. And as always, let me know if you have any questions and rewatch anything that you might need to rewatch. Enjoy Google Drawings.